Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Bro, to be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gonna ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gonna lose whoever you choose, fam, I'm gonna put up a beat. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sneaky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that for you pick him. Whipping up a bump a liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. What up, though? It's your boy Farmer. We back with another Madden Online Rank Match. Random fight on them whole one time. As you can see, man, quick, click that subscribe button, man, if you're new. If you're not new and you ain't made your decision, man, I highly suggest you sub to this real good Madden 20 content. As you can see, man, we're going against the number two player on the leaderboards, YouTube Money. And uh, you already know what we're going to do. When you come out in this look, everybody lined up at the line. We finna test that jaw. We gonna check that chin and see what that run deep about. 17 on the first rip. Another one. Run it back. Let get it. As you can see, um, just that look looks run friendly to me, bro. So if somebody comes out in that press baseline look, as you can see, I'm not running to the strong side. I'm ID in the mic on that guy on the edge. I just want to seal him, and then I'm Gucci. I might have to make one guy miss with my user, but that side just looks sweet, as you can see. And then you'll see when I'm going up against uh, Adams or Bobby Wag, Billy Wag, what I call him, I'm not going to run straight up. I'm going to run diagonally whenever I see them. That way they only get the regular tackle animations. They'll never get the big hit stat. The big hit animations, if when I see them, I cut over this way. If I can just cut over this way and get around them, I'll do that. But I'm never going to go uphill at Bobby. You see, as soon as I see Bobby, I turn this way so he can only get those wrap-up tackle animations. I can prevent the fumbles. He does a good job, so he forces me to come out in my tight offset tight end. A lot of y'all know this is a staple offense. I've been running it since Madden 13. Boom, I hit Kittle underneath. Easy, easy pickup for the first down. So now we finna check that chin one more again. Bars. Yeah, so I motioned out. Like I told y'all before, I like running backs. I thought he would pick that block up, so I tried to cut it off and go to the crib. I like running backs at the fullback position because for me personally, I feel like they get out the blocks a lot quicker and pick up those crucial blocks you need to take a lot of those runs to the crib. Fullbacks sometimes be way too slow getting to that second level. I need somebody who's going to get there with the side high gypsiness and allow your boy to do what he does. So again, just, you know what I'm saying? Giving him something slight, bro. Um, my biggest thing about Madden this year is to force you to play how I want you to play. I want to dictate each part of the game. I want to dictate the type of defense you come out in. And with the personnel abilities and everything this year, it allows me to do so as I head in with the corner route. The corner route is still good, but you have to have really good time and you have to know where to put the ball. You just can't throw it every rip like you could last year. You really got to mix in the corner route. And I, for you guys who do see me when I do run my New Orleans offense, you'll notice I don't throw the corner route everywhere. I mix it in with post routes, drag, slants, and whatever. Right there, I tried to quick hike him on the run before he set up his D. So now I'm going to come out in the red zone. I'm three runs and kick a field goal or I get in. I don't pass a lot in the red zone unless I see something. Right here, he spreads his leg. So I, oops, <laughs> spread his leg with the freaky dinky. Uh, he spread his line. So I go ahead and uh, <laughs> audible down to the halfback lead dive. Pound that thing in there for the tug. And we go up a quick sem zero. Oh, you know, if we hit our kicks. But that's one thing I haven't struggled with. I haven't struggled with kicks. Y'all let me down in the comment section. What is it in Madden 21 that y'all struggle with the most? But here is my strength of Madden. I think this is my strength. Every Madden is my ability to play defense. No matter what Madden it is, I've always been able to play a little defense. This is the first Madden ever I haven't run 4-3, though. Uh, for all you who wonder, I'm in a 4-6 defensive book. 
And uh, I've been in so much stuff on offense. I've been in New England. I've been in Washington. I've been in um, running shoot, running gun. But my main playbook is New Orleans. So right here, he is me with a nice out route. So I'm like, cool. That's not going to beat me. I'm just going to drag my purples out a little bit more and then have them play at 10 yards. Because I see that's his first read. And then his second read is the post route from that tight end. If uh, So I'm going to sit on that. Boom, we bag up the run. I don't got to really worry about that. My run D, my run D is getting way better. And if you're struggling with your run D and other things, you might want to cop that membership, hop in the lab with your boy. Link for that in the description. So like I said, boom, he hits underneath. I seen the post route, I mean that cross route. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting my zone drops out there. I want my cloud flats to play at 20, 25. And then I'm leaving my um, purples on default. So I'll purple this left side, but then I'm going to cloud flat this right side. which Well, whichever his strong side is as I blow up that in the backfield. But you'll see on this next one, that's the adjustments I'm going to make. And then my responsibility now becomes the middle of the field. Um, I'm going to be giving up the underneath for right now. But as you can see, I'm coming my adjustments. I purple that side. Cloud flat that side, I put a spy up, and then I man up X just in case. I mean, I man up this guy out motion and lock it just in case he want to hit that early. We take it away with the man up, and I lurk him up. I lurk him up. Give me a nice little yickums. But yeah, so I mean, that mo like that's just that's good adjustments, bro. That's knowing my opponent, well, figuring out my opponent's tendencies. That end route he ran, I hadn't seen, but it was just a bad route combo because it ran exactly with that corner route. So I could literally play underneath and pick either one off. If he would have threw to the corner route, I would have picked that one off. Right there on that run, bro, I pressed against the hole, waiting for his user to come down, and then I bounced it to the outside. I didn't have my hand on the turbo. I acted like I was coming straight middle, and as soon as I seen he committed middle with his user, then I bounced it out to the crib, 14 nothing lead. I like that run personally because I was looking at that because he had backed his user up 20 yards. So I knew it was going to be more of a one-on-one -on -one battle with his user. If I could make his user commit to the wrong side, I was going to the crib just based off how he set his run D up. So right here, he coming out single back trio. I was trying to wait to see what he came back in, and that would let me know what it is I had to run. Right there, he hit me with the little RPO, but we got our purples at zero when I seen this formation because I know it was an RPO in here. Right here, I'm putting that purple out there. I'm manning up Metcalf in the slot just in case he want to streak me because I am in cover three, and then my job is to play everything. Right here, I played it wrong. I thought I had a cloud flat out there, but I didn't. So I should have stuck up top. I forgot I had two purples at zero that were going to play that underneath stuff for me. So that was bad use on my part and uh, forgetting what I put on the field. Right here again, I'm making my adjustment. Just base adjustments. I read the RPO you the you better know that you pick time. Up up. Up. I read it the whole time. Yeah. He was, uh, his uh, trips was on the strong side of the field. I know there's an RPO out that uh, formation. It's probably the most popular play in trips tight end, the inside zone, uh, the RPO to read. The read option. So I was literally sitting on that. And then what I did was when I came down, I just ran around his, uh, the CPU was supposed to block me. Easy pick six. We to the crib. 21 zip on the number two rank D. So now all <clears throat> we're just going to crack up like that. My voice just going to witty hue. Crack. Was that a good joke, bro? Is that inappropriate? Let me know down in the comment section, man. But yeah, so coming back out now, I'm just like, I'm in full control of this game. I just got to not give up a score right here. He gets ball at half. This might be the most important drive of the game. Because if I can hold him here, he get ball at half, but I can maintain the three possession lead. He scores right here, gets ball with momentum. He might score again. Now I got a situation where I'm only up one. And he has two of the biggest hitters in the game on his team. So a fumble is always on the table. Even though 
Molly Mall and Billy Wag don't put nowhere near as much fear as they used to. So he's calling the timeouts. I pretty much got his offense figured out. I got his reads in my head, so I know what he want to do. So I'm literally playing like QB with my user. I'm going to where his reads at. I know exactly where he want to go just based off his tendencies in this game. Because you might play, I might even get matched up with him another day. I think this is my second or third time matching up with him. I think the other one's on the channel too. The first one isn't though because I don't record all my games. <clears throat> but I got his reads down pretty well. And uh, right there he hits his check down. So now I'm going to make mental note of that now that we're in the red zone. If he was just going up the field, I might give that up probably one more time if I can get down there quick enough to make a tackle. But for the most part, I'm going to take that away right here. Booyah, we got Moss. But luckily, he didn't get his feet in bounds. I thought that should have been a pick right there. If I had Sherm on that side, it probably would have been a pick. But I ain't tripping, bro. We're just going to keep playing this good defense. I play everything in the seams and force him to hit his check down again. Good check down by him being patient, though. But right here, you know what I'm saying, same adjustment. This time, I'm manning up that guy. I see that tight end seam. And give me that. Let me hold that. Of course, I, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. And I came about the uh, end zone with it. Don't know why. I should have took a knee. But me, I'm all, every time I get a yickums, ugh, let me hold that. I'm like Eddie Reed. I'm like Eddie Reed with the Ravens. Whenever I get a pick, my first instinct is return this football to his home. The home in the end zone, I want to come see you. I want to play in that. The end zone got that wop. And I'm trying to get to it. <clears throat> so right here, we come back in our tight offset. I'm trying to catch him up top because I seen he was uh, moving Molly Mall. So I'm like, maybe I can catch him on that right side with a streak. But the way my guy came up out of the streak, I couldn't. So I uh, hit him with a little corny corn right there. Like I said, you have to precision your corner routes perfectly this year or they won't do what they does and you'll get that joint picked off out of tight off. So you can't just spam it like you could last year and just throw it and it just dumb out every zone. With zone drops, it don't dumb out. They don't dumb out. They say, hey, nigga, this is a corner route. Let me hold them. So right here, you see I'm doing my subs. I'm trying to catch him slipping. He's been pressing me every time I come out of the I-form close. So I uh, sub in Mozart at that Kittle position with Mozart with that 97 speed. I'm, I'm like, I can get over the top if he comes out in the press. But he came out in the three deep that time, smart of him. I'm just going to run the ball. Uh, my guy does a horrible job of blocking. And low-key, that could have been a failure. Because Billy Wag could have rang my bell. Now, coming out in the second half, I know he's not going to throw an RPO. I pick six when it's RPO, so he's hella triggers. Like he's not gonna be trigger happy on that RPO. He like from now on it's all inside zone that passes. And the thing that he did, like he never showed me the inside zone as that should have been another Yickums right there to make me play it honest. He never showed me the uh, RPO to make me play him up honest, so I never really had to respect it. You know what I'm saying? In all honesty, which was good for me, bro, because, you know, our inside zone is just annoying as hell. I can defend it. It's just annoying. Like, I've been messing around with my defense enough where I can pretty much figure out what I want to do to uh, stop it. Right here, he's flipping his, um, flipping his formation, but that's, that flip isn't going to give me as much issues. Because I can get my adjustments out quick. I know what, like, my adjustments are based off my user. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to play in the areas where my user cannot be. Right here, he does a really bad job of not hitting that first slant. My user was behind that slant, so I've, I never would have been able to play it. If he would have hit that slant, it probably would have gotten him either a first down or close to that first down marker. Now he's putting himself in the 4th and 16. I know all his reads now. I know what he's going to be looking for. So I'm going to be lurking in the middle of the field for an in route. I got the crossers. Uh, I'm Gucci with the crossers. Um, I'm cross-manning dudes right now. I should be cross-manning dudes right now. But uh, boom, lurk in the middle of the field. Boom, come down on that crosser. Force him to just toss it up and try to get a spare catch. Ah, ah. Like my boy Stone Cold say. And the 
Ah, it's our rock, baby. It's our rock. We want to have a rock forever. So up 21 zip on the number two dude. And we just trying to close this game out right here. Like I said, I want to dictate what type of defense you play. I know right here you're going to be sending seven to eight. Everybody down on the inside of the box. That right side looks sweet. I audible down to uh, I form close. And we pick up a nice amount of yards. I'm not tripping like I told you. I'll even take my three right here, bro. I'm not tripping even about taking three. We come back out in the tight offset again. So he comes back down. He does the same thing. So I'm like, I was going to audible down. I'm like, no, I'm going to go ahead and dot him up because I don't think he's going to be sending seven again. And he doesn't. Actually, he does. We do a really good job of picking it up. And I get just a really, really bad animation. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Coming back out again. I'm like, not worry. I'm going to dot him up right here. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be giving me the same coverage. But this time, I know for sure he's sending a crib. So I motion Mozart across, block him. With that tight end apprentice, I put Kittle on another uh, corner route. And now it's just dots from right here. Booyah, shot guy. We got him up right there. And right here, he like, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, Jody. That's what Yvette say on Baby Boy. Let's cut to that. You better walk away. I hate you. You so And uh, he ends up tapping out and quitting, bro, and conceding the game, man. So we end up picking a dub. That's the number two and number six guys in back-to-back -back games, bro. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed that gameplay, and I'll get at y'all tomorrow. Peace. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all on me. Rah, rah, unique voice. Love a bitch when she trying to bone me. Ha, stick to the script. Call me a nigga, but look at my hips. First lady, I'm driving that rain. Bitch, a nigga, he gon' show me respect. We been through it all, fought through the storm. Years later, a legend was born. Let's get straight to the facts. Live and direct on your back. We fell out for a minute, but we be eating them tracks. I guess they I'm conceited.